family fortunes and tonight's families are Noel, John, Carol, Billy and Jackie, the Bromby family. And they're playing Neil, Nick, Matthew, Nikki and Sean, the Wilden family. And here's your host, Les Dennis. Good evening and welcome once again to Family Fortunes, the game show where we survey 100 people across the nation. We ask our two great families to match the answers in our survey and if they can go all the way to big money, they have a chance of winning £5,000 and tonight's star prize. Come on, Neil. Meet Jackie. Hello, you know the rules by now. 100 people are surveyed in all of our questions and in this first question, we're looking for the top seven answers. We asked 100 people to name an occupation that a village might need only one of. Neil. Barman. One barman in a village. <laughs> <laughs> village of teetotalers of you. Yeah. You're from, Neil. <laughs> Jackie. Postman. A postman. Yes, it's a top answer. Well played, Jack and your family. Hey, hey, hey. OK, rejoin your family. No conferring the Brombies, but of course, the Wilding family. Think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal later on. Now, Billy, you're a bit of a fisherman. Yes, I am. So you've yeah. got a fisherman's story for us, I've haven't you? I've got a story to tell you. We was out uh, sea angling at Whitby. Right. He was on a boat. And I don't know if you all know, but on a, on a, on a boat, you fish down each side of the boat. And on one side of the boat, this old chap, I don't know how he, I think he sneezed or something, and his bottom set of teeth fell out. So I, I stood next to my mate, Sean Richards, who was a bit of a laugh in that, and he said to his mate, who was stood next to him, he had false teeth as well, lend us your teeth. And he put them in a cod's mouth that he just caught. <laughs> and he, he turned to Tom, the old bloke, and he said, hey, Tom, I've just caught your teeth. Tom got them out of the cod's mouth, put them into his own mouth, and says, oh, these don't fit, and threw them in the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest bite you had all day. <laughs> That's brilliant. All right, an occupation that a village might need only one of. What do you think? Uh, hairdresser. A hairdresser, Billy. Let's have a look for a hairdresser. <coughs> no, so we lose a life on that. Now, uh, Carol, how did you meet your husband? Uh, well, we both actually worked for a major supermarket and we met down the aisles, the beans aisles. <laughs> you met down the beans aisles? Yeah. yeah. Were you on checkout? Or no, 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 we're both... Uh, you both stack in? Yeah, or? stack shelves. Yeah. All right, then what do you think? An occupation that a village might need only one of? Postmaster. We've got a postman, now we're looking for a postmaster. <coughs> Two lives have gone, so the Wildins might get a chance to steal. John, tell me about yourself. Um, I'm a gents hairdresser, uh, Les. I've got my own shop in Bottisford, which is just outside of Scunthorpe, uh, opposite the Black Beauty pub next to the Chinese. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the phone numbers on there. You didn't really ask that at all, did you, John? <laughs> very good. Nice bit of product placement there, John. Thanks very much, Les. Yeah? So you're, this, this is your card? You're, uh, that's you're, right, yes. Yeah? Did, you, did you do all the guys? Yeah, everybody's um, in public? Just mine. Yeah, I yeah. do Knowles, but Billy don't trust me. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. <laughs> An occupation that a village might need only one of. A uh, village policeman. Let's have a look for a village policeman. It's there, it's answer number two, you saved that life. Now, what have we got? We've got five answers to find. Noel, you had a secret wedding. We did indeed. That's you and one other Noel that tried me, to do that, isn't it? Me and the wife. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, get away. You and the wife had yeah. a secret wedding. That's Hello. right. Yes. There's a turn up for the books. <laughs> It must be something with Knowles and secret it's, uh, weddings, wasn't it? It's two Noel children. Gallagher. You got a bit of a Noel Gallagher. Oh, Are you mad for it? Maker. Yeah, I'm mad for it. Like. Mad for it, mad yeah. for it. All right, Noel, let's see if you're mad for this. An occupation that a village might need only one of. Shopkeeper. A shopkeeper. <laughs> Go, sir! Noel! You've won a prize. Let's see what it is, Steve. Well done, Noel. And it's you and your wife, Linda, and your children, Elizabeth and Claire. You're all off on a week's camping to Europe. There's France, Spain, Austria, and lots of other locations to choose from. All right. All right, Jackie, what do you think? Um, a railway attendant. A railway um... attendant, OK. Good thinking, but not there. So three lives have gone. The Wildings get a chance to steal. Sean. Vicar. A vicar. Nikki. Headmistress. Headmistress. Matthew. Doctor. Doctor. Nurse. Nick. Nurse. Neil. Milkman. A few answers there. Have you got one? Milkman. Which one are you going to go with? Uh, we're going to go with Milkman. We're looking for to steal a Milkman. <laughs> yes, well played. Well done, Neil. Four people. 
Four people said that with you, and uh, we're looking for answer number six is a vicar. Yeah, and he outnumbers the congregation even then. <laughs> answer number five is a doctor. And answer number four on an occupation that a village might need only one of is blacksmith. <laughs> Just a bit of really old village that we surveyed in. Okay, let's play round two. Meet Billy. Hello, All right, top six answers. We asked 100 people to name a part of a chicken that few people eat. Billy. Head. <laughs> <laughs> we could have surveyed Hell's Angels, Billy. You never know. <laughs> All right, Billy's looking for a chicken's head. It's there, well played, but there are three more popular ones. Nick. Bottom. <laughs> Bottom. Yes, it's the top answer. What do you want to do? Check with your family. Play. 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 All right, rejoin your family and no conferring. And of course, the Brumbies, think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal. Matthew, you're a student. Yes, I am, Les. What are you studying? I'm um, jazz. Jazz? You're yeah, studying jazz? That's right, yeah, at Middlesex University. But that can't be hard, because you make it up as you go along anyway, don't you, <laughs> jazz? <laughs> well, partly, you have to do a bit of composition and arranging as well. Yeah. And, uh, so what do you play? What, what uh, trumpet. trumpet. Trumpet, yeah. Matthew, what's your answer to that question? Feet. Chicken's feet. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, we lose a life on it. Now then, Nikki, um, you tell us about your romance with Sean. What happened? How did you meet? Uh, well, we met a long time ago, seven years ago probably. We just right. left school and we first started seeing each other. Yeah. And uh, it all Be ended. We were only very, very young. You didn't like each other at no, first, No, and then, then I hated him for seven years. You hated him for seven <laughs> yeah. years? I didn't like him coming anywhere near me. Yeah. Any time we did, we just constantly argued all the time. And you got back together? Yeah, we got back together and Fan got married last year. Fantastic. Great. You didn't do that to his arm, then? No, I didn't no. know. <laughs> well, maybe, <laughs> maybe you got the seven-year itch in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. All right, Nikki, what do you think? Um, the giblets. The giblets! It's all right if you take another bag. <laughs> Yay! That's number two, and you win a prize as well. Steve! And you've just made their day. I'm not talking about you and Sean. I'm talking about your cat, Storm and Parley. They've just won a year's supply of cat food and cat litter. <laughs> Sean, sure. what do you think, mate? The bones. The, the bones. bones. Let's have a look for the bones. <coughs> Two lives have gone, so the Brumbies might get a chance to steal. Neil? Um, feathers. Feathers, Neil. Yeah. Okay, it depends how rare you want it done, <laughs> doesn't it? <Yeah. laughs> feathers! <laughs> yes! <laughs> well played, thank you, number six. You get a prize as well. Well done, Neil. Here's somewhere to relax while Nick digs the garden. You've won this summer house. <laughs> All right? Yeah, well Brilliant. Speck all their cat food up in it. <laughs> Save it for the year. Nick. The beak. The beak. Let's have a look. The beak. <laughs> Three lives have gone, so we go over to the Brumbies with a chance to steal Noel. Leg. Leg. The leg. The neck. John, you don't eat the leg of the chicken, Noel? Yeah, some people, aren't they? The, what was that? The neck. The neck. Carol? Skin. Skin. Uh, Billy? The eyes. The eyes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go for skin. We're looking for skin to steal. Yes! Yeah. Well played, Jackie. I love the skin. <laughs> so, you get the money in the bank, and it means that the one missing answer is answer number three. Wings. The wings. Chicken wings? <laughs> Chinese yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Japanese do. Japanese, Japanese do. Everybody yeah. does. You get them in American restaurants, everything. That's what our people surveyed said. Let's play on round three. <laughs> Matthew and Carol, OK, top six answers in this third game. We asked 100 people to name something you wouldn't try even once. Matthew. Sex on a train. <laughs> <laughs> Sex on a train. <laughs> no! <laughs> Funnily enough, our survey people didn't come up with that one. <laughs> Carol. Drugs. Drugs. Let's have a look for drugs. Yes, good answer. Well played. Play we join no conferring. Of course, the Wildings think of some answers other than the one that Matthew came up with. John. A bungee jump, Les. A bungee jump? You wouldn't you don't fancy doing that. I don't really fancy that. I, I don't fancy doing that either. A bungee jump. <laughs> it's the top answer. Well played, John.
We haven't got daring people that we survey, but you've got a prize. Steve, what have we got? Nothing dangerous about this, John. You can saddle up and pedal off on this super mountain bike. Oh, Whoa! All right. Thank you, thank you. Well played, mate. No, what do you think? Oysters. Oysters? <laughs> <laughs> so we lose a life. Jackie. I don't fancy octopus. You don't fancy eating octopus, no, I Jackie. Don't. We're looking for eating octopus. <laughs> Two lives have gone. The Wildings might steal. Billy. Parachuting, Liz. Parachuting, Billy. All right, let's have a look for a parachute jump. You saved the life. Well played, Billy. <laughs> Carol, three answers to find. Only one life left. You've got to go carefully. Hang gliding. Hang gliding. All right, Carol. Hang gliding. So, the three lives are gone, it means the Wildins get a chance to steal. Sean? Abseiling. Abseiling. Nicky? Rock climbing. Rock climbing. climbing. Matthew? Climbing. Climbing off the back of the train. <laughs> Nicky? Flying. Flying. Neil? Smoking. Smoking. We're going to go with flying. Flying. And we're looking for flying to steal. <laughs> no, sir, the bombies. <laughs> Take the money and the missing answers. Number six. It's potholing. Answer number five. Frog's legs. We're near with the octopus, but not quite. And answer number four on something you wouldn't try even once is... Skiing. Brilliant fun. All right, that means we're at the break. The Wildings have £64 in the bank. The Brombies have £153. There's quite a difference, but it can all change in double money, as we've seen before. Join us in the second half, when one of our families will be playing for £5,000 and the car. We'll see you then. Families will be playing for £5,000 in the car. Will it be the Wildins from Gloucester, who have a year's supply of cat food and litter in a summer house and £64 in the bank? Or will it be the Brombies from uh, Scunthorpe, who have a camping holiday in Europe, a mountain bike and £153? Let's see as we play Double Money. Hey, Nicky, meet John. Hey, Nicky. Yeah. Double money, all the answers revealed were twice the price they were before the break. Top five answers. We asked 100 people to name a word or phrase that means naked. <laughs> Nicky. Nude. Nude. <laughs> yes, it's the top answer. Check with your family. Yeah. Hey, we join. No fam... No, no conferring. Uh, Sean. In the buff. In the buff, Sean. <laughs> yes, it's there. It's answer number five. <laughs> Neil. Starkers. Starkers. <laughs> yes, it's answer number two. We've got two to find, Nick. In the all together? In the all together. <laughs> Good one, but not there. Now, Matthew, what would you not like to be <laughs> on a train? <laughs> bear. 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 All right, bear. bear. Yes, well played. You've got a prize as well, Matthew. Steve. Well, no need to have Matthew Bear. You've won a clothes voucher to the value of £250. Thank you. Well done. Nicky. Um, in the nudie. In, all right, we had the nude. Now we're looking for the nudie. <coughs> Two lives have gone. The Brombies might steal. Sean. Um, in the skin. In the skin, Sean thinks. No, so this is a chance for the Brombies to play big money, Noel. Birthday suit. Birthday suit, John. Unclothed. Unclothed, Carol. Birthday suit. Birthday suit, Billy. Birthday suit. Birthday suit, Jackie. That's what we're going for. That's Beth. what you're going to go for. Birthday if suit. it is the missing answer, you have the money in the bank and you're going to play big money. We're looking for birthday suit. Yeah! Well done. You're playing big money. It means we lose the Wilden family. Neil and the Wilden have been a smashing family. You're going back to Gloucester with a year's supply of cat food and litter, a summer house, £250 worth of clothes vouchers and £64. Have you enjoyed your day? Yes, yeah, been marvellous. You've been today. smashing the Wildins. <laughs> Who's going to be paying big money, Jackie? Noel and Carol. Noel and Carol, join me at the mic, please. <laughs> Okay, Noel, you're going to play first. Okay. Carol, you go and put the headset on, listen to some music, and we'll call you back when we're ready for you. Right, Noel, you know the rules by now, I'm sure, of big money. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer, and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Okay. Good luck. A little closer to the mic. 
We're rooting for you. 15 seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> Name a type of tooth found in your mouth. Molar. A yellow food. Banana. Something you wear that has stripes. Shirt. A carpenter's tool. Hammer. Your favourite summer month. July. Whoa, very quickly answered, Noel. Well done. Good answer. That's it. Put your arm around me, mate. One of them tall ones we get again. <laughs> That's all right. Right, first of all, I asked you to name a type of tooth found in your mouth. Remember, we need 200 points between the two of you to win £5,000, and the top five answers will get you the car as well. A type of tooth found in your mouth, you said? A molar, our survey said? <laughs> We've got a top answer. <laughs> Maximum points so far scored with 39 points. A yellow food, that was the next question. You said? A banana, our survey said? <laughs> yeah. 23, we got 62. Not a top answer, but a good answer. Something you were that has stripes, you said. A shirt. Our survey said. 22, we got 84. A carpenter's tool, that was the next question. You said. A hammer, our survey said. 21, we've got one top answer so far, but we're through the halfway barrier. We have 105 points. Your favourite summer month was the next one. Is this your favourite summer month that you said? July. Right, you said? July, our survey said? 30 people agreed with you. We've got 135 excellent scoring. Rejoin your family, Noel. We'll clear the board and bring Carol back. <laughs> Welcome back, Carol. Noel scored 135 and has found one of the top answers. So he's done really well to get 135, but there are still four top answers there. If you can get 65 points, you have £5,000 for your family. And if, on top of that, you can find those missing four answers, then you will get tonight's star prize, the car. But you cannot get the car without totaling 200 points. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. Right, I'll ask you the same five questions. You have 20 seconds, and if you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear this sound and I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we've had and can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. Okay. Name a type of tooth found in your mouth. Molar. Another. Incisor. A yellow food. A banana. Another. Blumange. Something you wear that has stripes. A dress. A carpenter's tool. A plane. Your favourite summer month. August. Well played. <laughs> well done. And he doubled up on one. Or was it, no, I think it was two, wasn't it? Right. We need 65 points for £5,000. The first question. You all right? I'm shaking a bit there. <laughs> hold on, hold on. First question. A type of tooth found in your mouth. You said incisor. I don't know how you remembered that one. I, I don't. <laughs> you said incisor. Our survey said 12. You were never a dental receptionist, were you? I've right, got 147, we need 53. A yellow food, we need this to flash to keep us online for the car. You said... Blamange. Our survey said... <coughs> nothing for Blamange. so we can't get the... What would you say? Custard. Custard was the top answer. <laughs> it was worth 24, but it's not so easy, is it, when that, when that 20 seconds is against you? Blamange is what you said, so we cannot win the car, but we only need 53 points, so we can still get the £5,000. Something you were that has stripes, you said. A dress. Our survey said. <coughs> Nothing for dress. The top answer there was pyjamas. Worth 26 points. 26 people said pyjamas. A carpenter's tool was the next question. You said. A plane. I'll tell you the top answer was chisel and was worth 37 and would have put you well on the way. You said plane, our survey said. 15, we've got 162, we need 38. Right, it all hinges on this for £5,000. The last question, your favourite summer month. That's what we asked 100 people. Did they coincide with your favourite summer month? Let's see, you said August. If it's worth 38 or more, you have £5,000. There's June, July, August, let's see. You said August, our survey said. Japanese custom, the man kissed the man. We'll see ya.
With each question more difficult than the previous, let's see how far tonight's contestants go as they cling on to the lifelines. Classic Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Chris Tarrant tonight at 10 on Challenge. Great finish, we'll see you next week.